Okay, so uh, I just wanted to uh, point out to you uh, supervisors that sometimes it, it, you have to have disciplinary action beyond the bat, just for the learning curve. Now, he was willing to smash into the side of the building but still pay, take a paycheck. So let me demonstrate to the supervisors how you handle this breakdown in discipline, okay? What I'd like you to do here is just close your eyes for a second, all right? <laughs> So uh, we have a job opening for a forklift. Do you know how to? Do you know how to operate a forklift? No, no, no. never operated a forklift. No, see it done, but I've never done it. What? Well, we could probably train. Mm -hmm. I'll try. John, do you have a copy, John? The board, a little bit. Take it around him. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, John, I've got uh, a trucker out here with some uh, competitors' equipment on the back of it. What do you want to do with it? Go ahead and unload it. Forklift training day. safety class and we have a new employee here fresh out from Chicago what? local 578 mile drivers local 578 local 578 this is for you this is a forklift training class and we're using this new trainee that's never driven a forklift before and we're going to turn him into an excellent forklift driver so why don't you go ahead and step in and fire up hold it what the f are you doing get the f out of there you Chicago f asshole check the oil on this son of a bitch what are you checking in there? Checking the oil. Checking the oil. What about the water? You know where the water is? No, I don't. He doesn't know where the water is. Good? It's got fluid. What about oil? It's got oil. The important thing to know is before you get on the forklift, check the fluids. Make sure that it's all squared away. Okay, shut the door and let's go. Hold it! Hold it! Shut the thing off! Chicago bitches! Look at all this shit here! Get out of that thing. Don't ever get in a fork with a long shit thing around like that. You'll never be able to put the brakes on. Okay, take the fork, let them drive over there. You're ready to pick something. Let's go. We do not want to mess up this piece of equipment, okay? Very important. The training program content. Have you gone through the training program content? Top Chicago guy. We don't need any more of that. When you're running a forklift, you want to keep the engine RPM very low when you're picking something. Otherwise, the componentry and things move very fast. And that could cause problems. So when you're on the forklift, make sure that you're at low RPM. What you to do is step on that pedal full bore all the way to full blast and then engage on that lever right there. Metal to metal, 
cattle on the forks, you want to be very careful not to tilt forward too much. Tilt forward! We're going to uh, uh, advance now to the uh, diesel hammer forklift skills. You'll be the dunnage carrier. There's always, when there's a forklift operator, there's always someone handling the dunnage. What the f are you doing? You don't ride on a forklift. You never ride on a forklift. Now this is a very, very important piece of equipment and placing the dunnage in a proper way that you won't damage anything is very important. You see that fuel pump right there? That's a variable, very vulnerable spot. So you put that dunnage right, right here, right, right under the fuel pump. Go ahead. Some competitor's equipment. We don't really want to damage it very much. Now, one of the most important things about picking up a load is the maximum load is rated way up here at the front of the forks. And without going into any extreme details, you don't put your load out on the end of the forks. This is our competitor's piece of equipment. So as I always stress, the truck driver got lost and inadvertently came here instead of going to where it should have been delivered. And of course, that's not my problem. So what we're going to do is put it back in uh, shipping ready condition. That's one of the key things about being a safe forklift driver is to have everything all laid out and ready for the truck driver. Whenever you're picking a metal to metal load, if you have any question as to whether the load is going to slide, you should put some wood on the forks in between the, the forks and the wood so it doesn't slide like that. You probably lifted it, I'd say, just a little bit too high. Yeah, go ahead and answer your cell phone, that's all right. You don't have to really, they, you know, you, you just have to go through the motions around here. You really don't have to pay any attention. You got to get a run at it. Whenever you're picking a, a fragile load, you want to get a good run at it. Obviously this piece of equipment has been slightly damaged and it's our competitor's equipment and we don't want them to really come over here and recover it thinking that you know we may have injured it because of some poor uh, forklift skills. So, whenever this happens, it's better to just have a fire sale. You know, so we're going to take our Chicago buddy and we're going to show him how to have a fire sale. You always want to get the gas can away from the fire. Okay, this is a uh, what you normally do when you have a fire sale. Where's our forklift operator? Fire extinguisher, please. You notice we got this off of the forklift. It's very important. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. We got some more going there. Put that fucking fire out! Now, do you see this forklift over here? Somebody's left these forks up, and this is very unsafe because I could walk around the corner and I could be hit in two blocks like this. It's very dangerous. Chris, Chris. Who left these forks like this? Uh, Chris Wang. Get him out here. Chris Wang, copy. Chris Wang. Chris Wang, is he no forklift safety? Been trained. Have you told him about this? Yes, I have. 